Hello and welcome to my video tutorial series RPG in a Box. I am Carsten and in this episode I would like to show you how to create a map. So we create a new resource of type map and give it a name. I call it German word for start area. So Startbereich. And then we have to choose tile size. We use a default grid size of 16 times 16. So use it and press OK. Then we are in a new editor, the map editor. It's something similar to the voxel editor. At the left side, we have a context menu with the map tools to uh, edit our map. We can edit tiles, select tiles, create navigation paths and have a fill mode. And we have a select mode where we can select single or box mode to select our tiles. Then we have the map properties where we can set properties and define the behavior of our map. In the upper left, we have the navigation types with walk and interact, walk only, interact only, and pending. That is how our character interacts with the map. And at the top navigation, we have the settings. There you can choose map editor and select a predefined color scheme. With my color deficiency, I use an alternated color scheme. To look around, use the right mouse button. So you can rotate, but you cannot look up or down. Therefore, you have to choose another camera settings. We use standard and we have to select the free camera. Then we can look freely in our editor. We have also have the ISO and the top down and the first person camera. Take your time to play around. Additionally, you can save your camera position for the next editing session. And then we have the other tools, which I explain in a later episode. Don't forget to save your changes regularly to don't lose anything. So we can edit our map by selecting our send tile and position it to the map with our positioning tool. So we can add a few tiles in the lower right corner. We see our position in X, Y, Z coordinates. So the standard map I think has a size of 128 to 128. We can test it. So minus 64, yes, that should be 128. We have X and Y axis. X goes lower to the left and higher to the right. And Y goes lower to the north and higher to the south. And additionally, we have the Z axis, which defines our layer. And this, this is pointing to up to the sky. By the Z value, we can stack our tiles on the map. So on the ground layer zero, there are our ground tiles. At layer one, there are our wall tiles, then 16 tiles. Uh, higher at the level layer 17, there is the wall tiles and so on. And we can so stack buildings. So we drag a square of nine times nine tiles and we see the lines on our surface that show us that we can walk and interact. So we can walk over the tiles that is used for navigation in the engine and we can interact with objects. Then we have, uh, this is the green one, then we have the Walk only mode with the walk only uh, walk only mode. We can only walk over the tiles, but not interact. This is this one. And then we have the interact only mode where we can interact with doors, but cannot go through the doors, except we make a configuration for them. I previously made the decision to edit my meshes so we can look at them in more detail. So um, scroll into with mouse wheel and it's right to rotate and we see it's more tilish and we clearly see the grid of our surface. So save it. So congratulations, we have created our first map. We will polish them in a later episode. That was it for now. In the next episode, we will create our startup script and then start the game the first time. If you enjoyed this so far, give me thumbs up, stay tuned, and I would be very excited about your subscription. See you in the next episode. Bye.